welcome to Local is Lekker, where we look for lekker stories about local businesses. And today, today's story is about Frank's tires. Frank Goedeke has been in the tire business for more than 30 years and I'm delighted that he's now come out with a convenient way to look after our vehicles. Frank has been based in Belita for a long time but now he's got these mobile um, units running around and we thought we'd give it a try. Arthur and his team are here checking out our caddy's uh, brake pads. The front two brake pads need replacing so they're just checking out the back as well to see what we need to do and then they'll replace whatever pads need to be replaced and they'll be off to their next job. Um, so Frank's tires is really convenient now for us. We've got a bit used to getting deliveries during lockdown and this is just another interesting business that's popped up during lockdown. Good morning guys, it's Frank Gurica here from Frank's Tires. Uh, we're just here at um, one of the, our customers' houses. Okay, so basically as we're de demonstrating to you guys now, we can basically fit tires. This is obviously the same procedure as fitting tires and stripping tires and obviously here we're doing a puncture repair which is a real puncture repair where you take the tire off the rim and then you repair from the inside it's a safe way and it's only recommended AB SABS way to repair um, so Sophie will just show you how he strips it and then obviously we'll repair it and then um, put it back onto the rim and then balance the tire okay this is just a basic stripping machine which has been adapted for mobile fitment um, obviously just much more compact and now you're going to take the tire off the rim so we can repair the tire So obviously when you repair a tire, you can't see the damage that incurred on the tire from just having a, <clears throat> a look from the outside. One has to actually strip it because lots of time there's sidewall damage and stuff that's occurred. So hence, it's always good and advisable to, to um, take it off the rim, have a good look, thorough look, and then repair the tire and put it back on the rim, which you'll do now for us. So obviously this is a, a puncture repaired tire which we will rebalance which one needs to do every time one strips a tire and obviously if we fit new tires or anything like that we can do the balancing on site as we're demonstrating now. Okay, so obviously the tire has been balanced and obviously now we'll go back onto the vehicle and we're about to start with the wheel alignment with Sean and team from Straight Line. Okay, 
We've got Sean here from Straight Line, um, just not to to show us the ins and outs and basically show the capabilities of this mobile um, wheel alignment machine that, that they've developed. And obviously, um, I think just to show the perception that one doesn't have to go into a shop um, and one can do it at the premises or at somebody's house or at the beach or wherever it needs be. Um, but yeah, I'll hand over to Sean. Morning everybody, um, I'm Sean Muller. I'm the technical developer of the Straight Line Wheel Alignment System. Today we're at a client's um, home and we're just gonna demonstrate how we can very, very accurately do all the main elements of wheel alignment, either at your home or your office. So the system that we're showing you today will do any passenger vehicle, whether you drive an i10 or a Mini, or you drive a Hilux or a Quantum a minibus, taxi, all your passenger vehicles, the accurate wheel alignment can be done on premises at your convenience. One of the most important things when doing any wheel alignments is making sure that we set everything to the manufacturer's specifications. So when we arrive on site, we actually have all the specifications on a mobile device. So we're not um, setting up to a vague specification. We can go into the make and model and we can look up exactly what the OEM is telling us the specifications of each vehicle should be. The green dot that you're seeing on the video now is showing the rear wheel's um, toe angle. And as we can see, this vehicle is absolutely perfect. So the rear wheel is sitting almost exactly on zero, which is as perfect as it can be. Meaning the vehicle is gonna track nice and straight and will be very safe to drive. The front wheel, we can see that it's slightly towed in which is actually um, a very safe setting. Toe out is generally makes the steering a little bit more aggressive. So toe in is a very safe setting. There is a little bit too much toe out which may cause some tire wear. So shortly we'll get the guys underneath the vehicle and we'll make the necessary adjustments. So one of the unique features on our system is that we're actually connecting magnetically to the wheel nuts. This gives you a very, very accurate reading as we're not worried if the rims are bent, which is quite common in wheel alignment that you get mis misalignment due to bent rims. So we're actually connecting to the wheel nuts. It's very quick to put on and it's a very, very accurate reading, meaning that we get your vehicle safely back on the road. So as we mentioned earlier, we want to check all the major elements of the vehicle, even at your premises. So, so far we've checked the tow, but we also want to make sure that the camber of the vehicle is correct, because it's, um, if it's not, we're going to chew tires and waste fuel. So with this gauge, we're able to um, check the camber reading. I'm just going to have a look quickly. And 0 0.4 is actually very, very good. We do have a compensation, so if your um, car park or if, if your driveway is not perfectly level, we do have a compensation where the gauge will actually subtract the, the floor level, meaning that even at a remote location we can give you a very accurate setup. When we're doing all of this, we also check um, your tread depth. So we're just checking and on this it'll actually tell you when the tire needs to be replaced or if it's in a healthy um, condition. And we put this onto the printout so when we are complete you know the toe all the different angles and you know the condition of your tires knowing that you you and your family will be safe now that we've checked a few of the angles on the vehicle we also want to make sure that the wheels are perfectly square so in other words if we had a square on a piece of paper we want the wheels to each be sitting on a perfect corner so to do that we use a gauge that measures the distance between the tires on either side it does all the maths for us so we're not worried about us having to do any calculations it's all done for us and we know that the results are accurate okay what i've done is i've taken a reading on the driver's side and now i'm going to do a comparison between the driver's side and the passenger side it's very simple to do only takes a minute And what it's now telling us is that the driver side is roughly eight millimeters shorter than the passenger side. This is not a problem. 
Um, it's quite common that the driver's side of a vehicle is slightly shorter as it makes the vehicle pull slightly up against the camber of the road and the camber pushes it down which makes it track nice and straight. So it's not unusual that the driver's side is slightly shorter and we've checked now all the angles and the positions of the wheels. We also do a caster sweep which is a critical element of, of um, vehicle safety. It takes a little bit longer so I don't think we're going to do it in this demonstration but we can check all the major elements being tow, camber, caster, thr thrust angle, setback, clear vision. So as we saw earlier we had a little um, a bit of an alignment issue on the uh, driver's right hand side so all it takes now is for our guys to get some spanners and we're actually going to show you how we, we make that repair on site and then we'll check it again and make sure when the customer drives away they're happy. All right, thanks very much, uh, Sean. Um, I'm, so obviously now this right front's a bit out and I'm gonna hand over to Arthur and he'll do the adjustments for us. Okay, while well, Arthur's underneath the vehicle doing the tie rod adjustment, we'll actually see the laser moving as he starts turning, there it goes. And he can now see the laser and we lock it down in exactly five minutes towed in, which is a nice safe and, um, and healthy setting from a fuel and tire wear perspective. It's as simple as that. Once he's locked it up, you're good to drive away. Okay, we know that safety and convenience is important, but what you need to know is that our system is incredibly accurate. It has been tested by leading tire manufacturers like Dunlop and Bridgestone. It's being used by the Dakar winning Toyota Gazoo Rally team and others. And it's won an International Innovations Award through Auto Mechanica, which is an international organization. So we're going back to 1992, it was, and I was a student at Edgewood, and it was the July holidays, and I was supposed to start prac teaching the next after the holidays, and it dawned on me, maybe this is not for me, and I then said to my, phone my dad in Marisburg, and I said to him, Dad, if I find a job before the end of the VAC or the holiday, I'm going to leave, but if I don't, I'll stay. And at the time, there was a guy called Ian Ackhurst, who was a convener of Natal under 20 rugby, and I knew him, and he was in the tire industry. He worked for Natal in those days. He was a regional manager. And um, yeah, hence from there, he offered me a job as a counter salesman at, in Stanger Street, Natal, in 1992. And that's where the, my life or my journey in, in the tire industry started. Um, and then I went, stayed in an entire stable, if to say, and then moved to Marisburg um, until 95. And then I had opportunity to, do, to play some rugby overseas. And I did that for the next four or five years, uh, till 2000. And I got drawn back to South Africa and a good friend who was MD of Superquick at the time, he coaxed me back into the industry. And uh, here I still am. But from that time at Superquick head office in Joburg, or Midrand, I learned a lot. I used to look after the whole northern province. So up to Messina, right up to, to Kamati Port and, and Pretoria area. And uh, yes, uh, it gave me such a good grounding background, even more than I had prior. Uh, taught me about the financial aspects taught me about um, the, uh, the staff aspects, uh, buying right, all that stuff I learned there. Obviously then I, I got an opportunity to come back to Natal through, through super quick. It was a transfer to, to Natal to then obviously look after Natal and the Eastern Cape. And during that time there was a site that came available in Belito and I had to meet the customer on site to look at the, look at the site and what his intentions were. It was actually an old Sharks rugby player. And uh, he, he looked at it, then he turned it down. And at that stage, I said, hold on, the Belito was still very small. It's not like it is now. I then said, well, this is maybe the opportunity that I need to, to go on my own. I obviously couldn't financially do it on my own, so I got my brothers involved and, and one or two mates. And that was in 2005. So we actually did it all in a month, 
we took over a shop actually in Shelley Beach and took a shop and started a brand new shop in Belito. Um, and then obviously that was 15 years ago. So hence, since then I've obviously been with HiQ, been with Dunlop and obviously all those different stables always brought something different to the table. Different, different marketing strategies, etc. Uh, so yeah, all the time you're learning. It's not what you know, it's what you learn. Maybe from the franchisee, maybe when I was at the franchisor, and uh, from people that had been in the game way longer than I had been in the game. And there were a lot of those in those days, the, the people that you could talk to and bounce things off. I don't know so much nowadays, but in, especially in those days, yeah, it was, it was amazing to be around people like that, knowledgeable and just genuine, genuine people. And hence, I think that's what really always kept me back or attracting me back into our industry. Let's fast forward to 2018, December. And certain circumstances, and I think for the best, ar arose. And I uh, then decided to, in my Belito store, which has been a super quick for, for 14 years, I uh, decided to change that to Frank's Tires. And I, at the time, I thought, mm, maybe not the right thing but people still came in people still phoned so the brand was there or the name was there and i think uh that's why i've carried on with it because it's it, the people come to buy from frank and maybe not from the franchise or whatever it is then obviously our shop in, in musgrave and durban we also changed to frank's tires and obviously due to the COVID and the situations that we've experienced in 2020. Obviously during the lockdown, one had quite a lot of time to think. Uh, I thought the mobile unit, after doing research, it's very successful in Australia and the States, and obviously certain places in Europe, that it's definitely an avenue to follow. You just, you just you're, taking out, you're taking out, number one, the expenses for businessmen, and number two, you're giving convenience to the customer and a peace of mind, especially in these days, you're giving them peace of mind, you're coming out to them, you, you know, you, there's less risk for everybody and you, you can supply exactly the same service as if they came into a fixed fitment center store. May it be a super quick, may it be Tiger on Tire or HiQ. This machine or this vehicle can do exactly what they can do. So basically you've seen what we can do out of this one truck that we've got going at the moment. We're obviously looking to expand. And I think the easiest, or the easiest way is to get hold, hold of us is on frankstires.com. Look for the link. We've got booking times. Book us and give us the opportunity to serve you.